Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you. Yes sir, there it is. I promised to show you this a couple weeks ago. It's a Colt Frontier Scout. And this one's called the Golden Spike. Almost don't want to touch it. That's what it looks like there. Nice little single action 22 long rifle revolver. And the writing right here on it says the driving of the last spike and the meeting of the engines on May 10th, 1869 at Promontory Point, Utah. Combination of progress that required two centuries and a half. The continent was spanned. Look at that photo there. Yeah. You see where the two trains come together. And what they're talking about, as you well know, is the uh, meeting of the trains joining the west coast and the east coast and uh man has this got some history or what look at that would you man alive comes in a nice display box i do like that yep it's a collector item all right uh colt in them there little single action six shooter 22 long rifle how about that now very very pretty I just can't get over without all the shoots this bad boy man I just can't figure it out just big daddy roll like that mm -mm -mm. I don't know but anyway I guess we're going to find out. I've had a bad cold here for about two and a half weeks. And uh, a week or so ago, I went up to a gun show. And I took my old friend, uh, lives right down the road from me, Leroy. And I'm going to let him tell you about how we found this one. And uh, But he did go with me because I wasn't feeling too good. And I'm still not feeling too good. So let me let you talk to Leroy a minute. Then we'll find out whether we're going to. Let this be a safe queen or a collector item or what? All right, I'm going to give you to Leroy. Hey, y'all, you two people, this is Leroy here. And uh, Big Daddy made me put these here gloves on because he don't allow me to touch none of his guns because sometimes my hand's a little bit dirty because I live down the road from him. And uh, and I live down there in the, and me and my wife in an old van right down there near the creek. What I was going to tell you is, I come up here a week or so ago, and uh, old Big Daddy, he was a, his nose was a running, he was a sneezing and all that stuff, and he said, I sure would like to go to that gun show. And, uh, and I said, well, I'll go with you in case you get to feeling bad, you know. We took off, and, we, and it was up there near the mountains there on the side of the road, and, uh, and uh, we went in there, and Lord have mercy. I'd never been in a place like that before. We walked in the door, and they charged eight dollars to get in. I couldn't get over that eight dollars to get in, and I said, "Big Daddy, I ain't got the money." And uh, he went ahead and paid my way. He, that Big Daddy, he's a good guy. I'm telling you that. We walked in that place and opened the door, and they must have been ten thousand guns in there. It was shotguns, rifles, and pistols, and everything. I ain't never seen such in all my life. And we we started down one aisle and 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 walked that aisle and come back up to another aisle and and Big Daddy he never missed a lick he just kept on walking he he really didn't uh, see nothing he really liked that much and uh, I looked at him after we got through looking at everything in that show and uh, he nodded at me and uh, wiped his nose because that cold he had and uh, I could tell he's ready to go anyway. We headed towards the door, and uh, I looked over there, and this guy had this thing right here sitting there with this lid open like this. He 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 opened it up, and I seen this right here, and it's a it was a golden spike. I ain't never seen a golden spike in my whole life. I was thinking to myself, me and my wife have been married for 25 years, and uh, I was thinking. If I can get Big Daddy to buy this thing, 
maybe I he'll let me have this here golden spike and uh, I can give it to my wife for our 25th anniversary. The reason I'd give her that spike here for my 25th anniversary is she's been a spike up my rear end for 25 years. And I thought maybe I could take a rope there and tie it around this right here and she could hang it from her neck. And maybe if I got lucky, she might even fall on it or something. But I ain't going to go there. I love her, she's, but she is a pain in my rear end, I'll tell you that. But anyway, I said, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, look over yonder. And so I got him to go over there, and he he started looking at this this here pistol. I don't know a whole lot about pistols, and uh, I got to be careful because he, he'll get mad if I touch it too much. I looked over there at him, and, and I seen a little twinkle in his eye. And after looking at all them guns in that whole gun show, this is the only thing that made his eye twinkle. Now, I didn't know if that twinkle was coming from his cataract surgery because he had them old implants. He had cataracts on his eye. I don't know how big daddy old he is, but I mean, he might be 158, 60 years old. I don't know, but he's got some age on him. But anyway, he had cataract surgery and he had them old European implants put in. And uh, his insurance paid for it, thank goodness, because I... I, I certainly couldn't have nothing like that because I ain't got I ain't got a, I ain't even got a job, to tell you the truth. But I looked over there and uh, he kept looking at it, and uh, that twinkle in his eye come come again, and I said, "Oh, here it goes. I know what's coming now." So uh, he uh, he whispered in my ear. He said, uh, "Find out how much he's wanting for it." And uh, so I asked the guy. I said, "How much he wanting for that there?" there uh golden spike in that in that pistol and he said uh well he got to telling me stuff about history and about you know how the west was won and and how about a bunch of trains going together and meeting in in mississippi or utah or something and i didn't care nothing about no history because i got plenty of history myself my gosh you can pull up my rap sheet and i got a big history there but Anyway, I've straightened out now because that was back in my younger days. All I wanted was this golden spot to get my wife. And uh, we started dickering around there, and he uh, he come he, he quoted the price and everything, and Big Daddy just shook his head, and and uh, he, we kept on a dickering, and uh, Big Daddy said, "Offer him, offer him this." So I offered him that, and the old man says, "Well, I ain't sold a darn thing today." He said, I'm just going to have to let it go. A big old tear come down his eye when he said that. So uh, I looked over at Big Daddy, and he was grinning like a mule eating briars. I'm telling you that. So anyway, we ended up with this here thing, and we, we managed to get something and not go to the gun show with nothing, which worked out just fine with me because all I wanted was this golden spike. We left, and we got in the car. And I, I was looking at this, and I was playing with this spike. Oh, I like this thing. My wife, she would, she would, she would love this. I guarantee you. I wouldn't tell her why I'm giving it to her about her being a pain in my rear end or spiking my rear end for all that time. But hey, you know, she, she'd really like it right there. And if she didn't, I could take it and stake up my mater plants with it or something. You know what I mean? Anyway. We got home, and uh, I said, uh, uh, Big Daddy, do, do you mind if I take that there spike right there? And uh, he turned around there and put that, put that revolver back in its case and done like that, and he says, let me go to the barn. That rascal went down to the barn and got me an old rusted spike. And he said, here, take this one and give it to her. So... I, I said, well, I reckon that's better than nothing. I, like I said, I didn't get my hands on that one, but this old rusted spike, it, it had a little bend in it and everything, and it looked like it'd come out of a railroad track. And uh, I went in and took that thing, and I sanded it and everything, and and uh, I gave it to her, and, and uh, she's, she's, she's happy. I'm telling you, she's happy. She ain't fell on it yet, but I'm still waiting on that. Now I wouldn't want nothing to happen to her. I don't know where I'd get another one. She's a little big. I'm telling you, she weighs about 600 pounds. So she don't get around a whole lot. So 
there's not much chance she's going to fall on it anyway. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to, that's my story, and uh, I'm uh, sticking to it. But I sure am glad that uh, Big Daddy did get that, and uh, I don't know if he'll ever fire the darn thing. So I'm going to give you back to Big Daddy, and uh, I appreciate you listening to my story. And I did have a good time at the gun show. Maybe he'll take me back. Anyway, I'm going to get on my moped, and I'm going to go home. And uh, cause I'm sure my wife will have some something to cook for me anyway. I'll see you guys. Well, that was my buddy Leroy, guys. He's a character, I'm telling you. So, uh, man alive. Should I put her back in the safe? Yeah, well, probably so. Yeah, I probably should do it. But nope, that's not how I roll. Like I said in other videos, you're going to hang around Big Daddy, you're going to put out. That's what I'm talking about. So, hey, I'm going to flip this bad boy open. And I'm going to give her a little cock right there. And I'm going to load her up. How's that? 22 long rifle. Yes, sir, Reed, buddy. Mm-mm-mm. You know, maybe I'm going to lose a little value. Who knows? But, uh... We're going to go out and shoot this bad boy. You know, it's been raining here in North Carolina. And it, every time I get something like this, it seems like it's raining or about dark. And it is getting about dark, but hey, you're going to see Colt's Golden Spike shot for the first time. Here we go. Yes, sir. That's right. Let's go get us some. There she is. We're outside, drizzling rain. You think that's going to stop me from shooting this one? I don't think so. Okay, you're going to see the first shots out of a nice little colt. Let's see if we can hit this old Eva Roy. Here we go, guys. We sure did. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's try the second target. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's only appropriate to shoot the cowboy. Let's go load her up and do it again. All right. Bring the hammer down and let's see what we can get out of this bad boy. All right, here we go. That's one dead cowboy right there. Yes, sir. That's it. Okay. You just seen it. I bet you think I'm crazy, don't you? Let me get you a side shot. All right, to load this bad boy, you just gotta half cock it, start spinning the cylinder there, and uh, we're gonna get these uh, empty rounds out of it there. That's right. Oh, yes, they're coming out. So dark, I bet you guys can't hardly see it. I'd like to have two of these. I don't know if I'd ever find another one or not. You don't see a whole lot about them on YouTube. All right, I'm going to shoot another cowboy here. Yep, you heard the steel ringing. Yes, sir. Every time. Oh, yeah. That's it. Ain't no safe queens around Big Daddy. Let's go back in. All righty, guys. There she is. She is no safe queen now. I'm going to put the 
empties in there. Man, I probably could get maybe a $100 piece for them. Who knows? Colt Golden Spike has now been fired. No use leaving it to somebody to get when I die, is it? I think I'll leave him in there. I think I'll just close this little box up and, and uh, call it a night. How about that? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I'll try to list some information under it if you're interested in the history of the uh, Golden Spike and the railroad and trains and all that good stuff. And if you like this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. And remember, Big Daddy loves you. You can count on that. Thanks for all your support, and thanks for watching my videos. Hoorah! See you guys. Have a good week.